How does heaven look like? Can I tell you? Ah, here it is. You've got to wait at the end of the story, okay? One day, there was this guy who died. And then when he woke up and opened his eyes, he was in a different place. He was in this incredibly beautiful place. And then a woman walks to him, a woman, you know, with, with filled with light. And then the, the woman said, you can walk around and check it out and, you know, look at this place. And, and so the man said, wow, this is so beautiful. And then the woman said, and by the way, if you get hungry, just wish for it, you know, and it will be there in front of you. And the man was taken aback and he said, wow, really? Well, right now, I'm really interested in a hamburger. That's boom, the hamburger was in front of him. Whoa, oh, and, and can you also give me oysters from New Ze Zealand, fresh, boom, it was in front of him. And give me a sausage from direct from Germany and boom, it was there. And he said, oh my gosh, and Wagyu steak, please, from, 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 from the US and it, it appeared right in front of him. And he said, ah, ah what else, what else? Ah, lechon from Cebu, bang, was there. And he said, no, 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 I want Kobe beef from Japan. And boom, it was there. It was like a smorgasbord of the best kinds of food. And he started eating and oh my gosh, and it was amazing. And then he said, wait, wait, wait a minute. As he was eating. This place is like, if I wish it, it suddenly appears. And then he asked the woman who was still there in front of him, he said, you mean to tell me if I, if I wish a car, uh, you know, it, it will, and the woman said, sure. And so he said, you know, BMW and boom, and it was in front of him. Oh, no, 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 I, I want something with, with, with more gold and more diamonds in, and boom, <laughs> it was a diamond encrusted BMW, whatever that is. <laughs> and he said, no, no, I want a Ferrari, and boom, it was there. He said, no, no, how about a house? I want a house, and the house appeared right there. And he said, no, that's too small, make it big. And the, and the house became a mansion. And he said, no, no, I, I, want, I, want, I want a castle. I want a 100 room castle. And the the castle appeared and so the woman said well just keep on enjoying this place and you know and and so the woman walked away and for the next seven days he started he was like a little kid like a little kid opening Christmas presents on Christmas Day and he was so happy but you see by the seventh day you saw him and there was no more happiness in his face and he looks for the woman and he founds the woman and he says, excuse me, um, this place, I, I can wish anything and I have everything that I need, but I need to tell you, I'm actually bored now. I'm so bored, I'm miserable. I'm actually very, very miserable. That I've, I've never been this miserable in my entire life. H how can you call this place heaven and the woman looked at him and said who said you're in heaven and he was the guy just like shocked <laughs> he said, what do you mean and the woman said um from what i know heaven is the perfection of love and hell is the absence of love have you in the past days loved anyone and the man just started screaming realizing where he was and he said, I don't want to be here. I want to go to heaven. And, and the woman said, no, no, wait, wait. You chose to be here. And he said, no, I didn't choose to be here. And the woman said, you did your whole life. You were just thinking of yourself. And so that was your choice. It, it was again and again and again being repeated. This is where you wanted to go. My dear friend, I want you to think about this. We choose where we go. There was this one theologian who said, the moment we die, there are two signs, heaven and hell. And then we actually choose to go where we want to go. And we've been choosing that all our life. In our gospel for today, it is about marriage. I want you to know that a happy marriage is a reflection of heaven. Because a happy marriage, to be happy, each spouse, you need to die to yourself. You need to really die to yourself and serve that person and love that person um, every single day. And so, my dear friend, I invite you to make that decision right now. Will you do it? Choose 
to love, choose to serve, choose to give yourself the way God gave himself to you. Before we pray, I'd like to invite you just in case you want to work on your finance, on growing and having enough financial blessings so that you can care for other people and provide for others and be a blessing. If you want to come and join me at my wealth conference, and it is going to be a powerful, life-changing experience. We do this once a year, and so many people keep on telling me that every time they attend, every year, something happens in their financial growth. Something happens, they just level up. I hope you come and join us. If you want, the details are in wealthconference.ph. If you're ready, let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord, I choose to love. I choose to serve. Help me. On my own, I cannot do it. I think of myself, I'm selfish. But with your grace and with your power, I will be able to follow you. I will be able to serve and love and give myself to others by your grace working in my life. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Once again, for those of you who want to bless your finances, come and join me at Wealth Conference. The way to do it is go to wealthconference.ph. God bless you. See you tomorrow.